Hello there, everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you are all well. Tell me how you're doing in the comments below. And today we're going to be reading a creepy pasta from the SCP archives, known as Daddy Long Legs. Now, if you're an arachnophobe, I suggest you turn back now because, well, the title says it all. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy, and without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Count Julius Productions It is, upon reflection, the legs that were the problem. Certainly my eyesight hasn't been strong enough for a long time to distinguish those loathsome features. That disturbing thorax jointed into those long legs, casting a greater shadow than they have any right to. Yes, it must be the legs. I'm almost certain. It's in the name, after all. Daddy Long Legs. Such a peculiar peculiarly affectionate title for such a twisted creature. As a boy, when my eyes were stronger, and the knowledge of the world less, I thought them demons. Nightmares come to the world less. Nightmares drag me to some terrible shadowland. I would run howling and shaking with fright to beg my mother to take it away. It rather disgusted my father, a big bully of a man whose definitions of manliness and fortitude were hard to reach for a grown man such as himself, let alone a young boy. He would sneak into my room at night and release them, leaving me to wake up surrounded. I'm sorry, but I need you to keep still. Here, let's try this. Let me know if you feel any tingling. In a sense, I suppose this shock treatment did have a positive effect. I first struck back at them on one of those hateful mornings, wrapping my hand in a sock to crush the life out of one, crawling on my arm, terrified of letting it touch my bare skin. I held it at a distance, watching those legs thrash in their death throes. I had fantasized about killing them before, but their unsettling speed always made such actions seem foolish and unlikely to succeed. An up close and personal action was unprecedented and empowering. After that, it wasn't very long until I began hunting them, extinguishing those vile souls one by one. A porgram starting in my backyard and working out into the forests. The sock was exchanged for a pair of gloves. which worked well enough for a time. It was on one of those excursions that I noticed it first. One of the freshly slain was moving its leg, twitching erratically. With a growing horror, I wondered if it was coming back to life. I panicked. The image of my former victims Pursuing me like some fearsome legion flooding my mind. I fled the woods, hiding in my room. It was then that 
I determined that my gloves were not enough. My brain rationalizing the fact that a stronger impact must be needed. My father's heavy yellow handle claw hammer served this purpose well. I'm afraid I'll need you to pray quietly in your head. You're rather distracting me, quite rude. Soon my excursions began anew, and at this point, now a young man of eighteen, I began to see them lurking on people. Nausea struck me as I saw them crawling along the arm of a bus driver in the streets. As he went about his preset path, unperturbed by the small forms scaling him with those long, long legs, my vision went gray as I realized one day that the pastor in front of me had a pair of tiny legs edging over his clerical collar. My mind boggled until it occurred to me they must have realized I had been hunting them and began to take precautionary measures. I had seen spectators watching and muttering to themselves as I smashed carapace after carapace. At the time I thought them simply enjoying my good works. But in the light of this due revelation, I realized what they were. Centuries. In attempt to follow my patterns. Learn my strategies. Horrified, I fled home. It was late that night when a solution occurred. Slowly crawling forward in my mind. Ponderous and inevitable. If they were truly being used by these arachnids, then they were worse than dead. I had already learned well, dealt with their masters. I had to handle the servants. It would be mercy. Freeing them letting them onward to whatever reward awaited them. Burdened with new purpose, I went out that night. You may be wondering why I am telling you all of this. You've seen me on the street, giving you a startled look. You see, though you may not know it, they have you too. Shh. Don't cry. It's not your fault. It's simply the facts. But you have no need to worry about qualifications for the task of freeing you. It's been a long time since that bus driver and I've since learned that a hammer will work just as well on a man as it does on monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. See you next time.